welcome back to my channel. So in the video that you're watching right now, I created this look that I'm wearing at the moment. So it's kind of like my, let me just look at it. It's like a sultry, really pretty blue smoky eye. I really love it for the fall time and I have this like burgundy lip on that kind of matches my shirt which is so so cool. I did my face makeup and my eye makeup and my brows, everything on camera for you guys. Just, I love how it turned out. It's so sultry and just like smoky, yet like cat eye-ish. So I love how it turned out. And if you guys want to see how to get a similar look or even this look, then just keep watching the video. Okay guys, so the first step we're going to do with this makeup look is our eyebrows and our eyes. We're going to be using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Oh my gosh, I know my hair is crazy, but the next thing we're going to do is our eyes, and I really want to create like a, a very sultry, purpley, smoky fall eye, so we're going to do that using these two palettes. We're going to be using the Maybelline, Mayb blah, blah, Maybelline City Mini Palette in the shade Chill Brunch Neutrals, so they have two of, they have like a bunch of these little palettes of these minis. I love these. These are in my, uh, this month's favorite video so if you haven't seen that I'll link it down below so you guys can go watch that I have a lot of favorites that I think everyone will really enjoy in that video so I'm going to be using this and I'm going to be using it with one of the MAC personality palettes and this is the basic beach palette so we're going to be using this with some cool tones in it too I've never been a really big fan of cool tones but when I saw these palettes I kind of got inspired to like do some more cool tones so I'm excited and I did wear this look in my first ever giveaway which sadly is closed so I wore it in that and I got a lot of comments like please recreate this eye look and I had people texting me like wanting it so I was like I'm just gonna recreate it in this this video so I am just priming my eyelids first and then we are going to move on into the eyeshadows so we're first going to go into the City Mini palette and this is in the shade Chill Brunch Neutrals, this palette. And I'm going to set it, my our eye primer, just to soften it up and make the, sure the shadows blend better with this shade up here. And it is called 1. So we're going to use that and we're just going to take this all over and just pack it to set. And normally I carve out my eyebrows with concealer after I'm done with them to clean them up, but I really like... I don't feel like doing that right now. So the first color we're going to take in our crease is this shade down here. So it, this is the one that I used as my base and then I'm going to move on to this shade. So I'm taking this shade into my crease and really just doing windshield wiper motions and just fluffing it all the way out. Really hard to find good drugstore eyeshadows that work well um, and look very good. So I've really been loving these. So always start with less product and so we're just going to be blending this all the way out. Okay, so next I'm going to be taking this sitting medium palette and I'm going to be going into this shade down here. It's like this eggplant purple and I just dug my finger into it. Great. Taking this on the same brush that I just used for our crease. Um, I'm going to be taking, oh by the way, this, these palettes don't have mirrors which is so sad. But I'm going to be taking this a bit more on the outer corner and just packing and fluffing it through. And we want to keep this as low as we can because we're going to be going with a few dark, more, dark, more darker colors. I just, I love the way these shadows Honestly, if you're deciding between two of these palettes, so like which one to buy, go with this one because you guys can see how similar these colors are. They are so, so similar. So I just think you should just go with the cheaper one and you can create mostly the same eye look minus like maybe two to three shades. I'm just going to take a fluffy blending brush and just make sure that these two colors are blended into each other very nicely. So next I'm going to be dipping into the MAC palette and I'm going to be going with this shade over here and it's called Game Player. So I'm taking a bit of a smaller taper brush and this is the M433 by Morphe and I'm literally taking this below the purple on the outer V. And we're just going to keep this in this little area over here. I know that in the video I did not use this blue as much, but I just think this blue is really pretty and I really just wanted to pop it on the lid. So next I'm going to take the Maybelline palette again and go into this shade over here. I am going to spritz it with some Fix Plus. It is pigmented, but I want it to be a bit more pigmented. And then we're going to go over it with one of the MAC shadows that is very, very similar. But I just like how both of them like just merge together. Oh my gosh, this shadow is so pretty, you guys. So we're putting this all over our lid, um, up into our crease, but not taking it near those shadows um in the outer v 
color is so pretty it's like blue it's very very cool tone but it's like blue and then it has like this pretty uh like silver sheen to it like this ice icy silver icy silver sheen i love 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 it Okay, so once you go in with both eyes with the shimmer, then we are going to blend out the top, and then we're going to put a little bit more color on the outer V, and we are finished with the eye look. We're just blending out the edges to make sure that there is no harsh lines. Y'all know I love doing this. So with the same flat shader brush, I mean, you guys can stop here if you just want to use the City Mini Palette and you don't have this palette, but I want to go with two more shades just to intensify it a bit more so I'm gonna go into this palette I'm gonna take this color right here and then I'm gonna put this on the same brush no need to get a new brush these colors are so pretty I'm gonna spritz this once with MAC fix plus and then we're going to pop this exactly where we put the other shade and you can just see how it just makes it just more more pigmented because when you put the glitter from the other one on the shimmer shade it's a bit more sheer, but I mean, it's fine. Like, you don't you don't have to have this palette to do that. You can just work with the City Mini Palette. Next to the Clean Flat Shader Brush, I'm going to go in with this shade over here. And we're just going to pop this right in the middle to bring a bit more of light to the eye. And we are going to spritz this with some Fix Plus, but just like right in the middle. Just so, because I know there's so much darkness right now that we need to kind of pop a little light in there. So we're going to do that on the middle, inner corner, and the brow bone. Okay guys, so that is it for the eyes at the moment. We're going to do our face and then we're going to come back to the eyes. So I'm just taking some MAC Strip Cream in the shade Gold Light. And I'm using um, the Rihanna Fenty Foundation today. So I just want to make sure that like my skin is hydrated because I do have dry skin. And that it's like glowing underneath because it does take away the glow that's like kind of on top until you apply highlight. I'm now going to take my Touch and Soul No Pore Bum Primer. It's just a smooth and pore, pore covering primer. It's just going to fill in those pores. And just put this in my T-zone on top of the MAC Strip Cream. So I'm going to go in with my Rihanna Fenty Foundation. And this is in the shade 260. I did a full review on this whole Fenty line. If you have not seen it, I will also link that below. It's a really good video. But you just want to make sure that you shake this well because it's, it's very drying. So I'm going to work in parts on my face. You guys, I'm having so many breakouts. I just got back from being out of town. And it's like always when I go out of town, my face just decides to like not like me. So, I had a huge breakout. I'm just going to buff this in with my It Cosmetics. It's my favorite foundation brush. It is called the 101 Airbrush Blurring Foundation Kabuki. I actually blend this down the neck and onto the ears. This foundation does dry and set itself. So, that's why I like to work on one side because it does dry pretty quickly. This foundation has such good coverage. So I'm going to be mixing two concealers today. I'm going to be using the new, it's not new. This is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles by Maybelline. And this is in the shade Light. And it is a bit light for my skin tone. Whoa, this just oxidized so much. Whoa. And then I'm going to mix it with Tarte Shape Tape and Medium just for a bit more coverage. This foundation oxidized a fair amount but like it, it looks fine like the way it oxidized like it's not too too dark so it works so to blend out the concealer under my eyes I like to use this brush by Tarte it's double-ended I don't even know the name of it um but I like to use this in like patting motions under my eyes now I'm just going to take a sponge and just go over my whole face to make sure that there is no excess foundation or concealer just chilling on top I like to have everything just like settled into my skin and not really oh my god my nose running oh my god and not really any excess product so now we're gonna set our eyes using the Maybelline loose finishing powder in the shade light medium 20 though I just poured a lot I love this powder because it has a bit of a color to it um but it also just it it works really well under my eyes and brightening so I'm kind of just like pressing it into my skin, not like sitting on top. So now that we have our liquid base down and our under eyes are set, I'm not going to set my face. I'm just going to work on our lower lash line, finishing up our eyes, and we're going to finish up our face. I'm going to take the Maybelline City Mini Palette and go into our crease shade that we had put as our first shade and just sweep this from outer corner to inner corner. 
Now on the same brush that we took our blue, which is the Morphe M433, I'm actually going to go into the MAC palette that we were using, and we're going to go into this shade over here. Okay, this step is very important. We're only going to take this from the outer corner to halfway of the inner corner because we don't want that much darkness coming in inwards. We want our eyes to be a bit more open. So I'm just going to take that color, just wipe off the brush a bit, and just go right here. So I took some Marc Jacobs Highlander in the shade Black Rain. I put it on our waterline just to kind of tie the whole look together. I love having just black on my waterline no matter what normally while my foundation has like fully set which is good. For the inner corner we're going to take the MAC palette and go into this very big pan over here with this e.l.f. pencil brush and we're just going to tuck this in the inner corner to open it up. I'm just going to put this on our brow bone. For mascara we're going to go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Top and Lower Lashes. I'm going to be going with the KKW Beauty Medium Powder and Highlight Contour Kit. So now that we have contoured our cheeks, nose, and forehead, and jawline, because that Taco Bell cannot be seen, we are going to bronze our skin, and we're going to use the CoverGirl True Blend Bronzer in the shade Bronze 200. This bronzer has a ton of shimmer in it. So I like to go heavy handed, I kind of just like to place it on top of the contour to add like an all over kind of glow. So now we're going to go in with some blush and I'm going to be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in the shade Natural Beauty. For highlight I'm going to be using the shades in the KKW Beauty Contour Kit. Normally I don't like these kind of like really light shades, I was going to go in with the Smashbox uh, Gold Palette. but. I don't think that's going to match with this. I think this is more of like a cool tone pink is going to match. So we're going to go with this on our face. I'm actually going to do a mixture of both of these colors. And these are some blinding highlighters, y'all. So just be careful. But they're like finely milled. And I just, I'm really even liking them. We're going to now set our face with the Pixie by Petra Glow Mist. And I'm, and I'm just going to do this so we're going to take our the butt of our beauty blender this is the eco tools one i love this one and we're just going to dab 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 we're gonna go in with our lip color i'm thinking i want to either do like a nice nude or this like color it's kind of like the same color as my shirt i think it'll look really good and this is by real hair cosmetics we're just gonna line our lips with the color that came it's like a duo so we're gonna line our lips and then we're gonna fill them in So this is the finished look. Uh, the, the difference straightening your hair can make is totally amazing. So I have finished this look and I really, really love how it turned out. It is so fall, sultry, and like purple and smoky. Like I really love this eye look and I love how the lip pairs with it and it pairs with my shirt too. So I really, really love this. I even like how it turned out better in this video than it did in my first giveaway video. So I love how it turned out. If you guys enjoyed this video and if it was helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. Um, and comment down below if you used any of these products. I want to know if you like them, if you use them, that sort of thing. My choker is twisting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was very helpful for you and you got some inspiration from this eye and face look. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys!